Hi, it's Beauty of the Hearts here, and today I'm going to show you my polymer clay Mockingjay pins. But first, I must thank Custom Foo for the lovely Mockingjay pin tutorial, which helped me improve my first Mockingjay pin a lot. This is my first Mockingjay pin. Shoot. <laughs> this is my first Mockingjay pin. Um, you know, I thought, you know, for my first time, I thought it was really cool. You know? I think I think it is really cool. Um, all I did was um, use the Hunger Games book for reference, you know, the Maki J pin in the front cover, and uh, this is how it turned out. I you know for my first time, I'm very happy with it. I wore it, and I actually got compliments on it, which made me very very happy. But you know, I thought you know I could do better than this, so I looked up you know tutorials and I found hers, and I didn't want to do it at first because it looked very complicated. However, I'm glad I did. Because it took a while, it took a while, but you know, it went from this to this. Now I am very, very happy with the way it turned out. And look, it looks, you know, more sturdy um, compared to this one, which is with the circle looks very, very floppy, <laughs> and and it looks kind of flat. Actually, this one looks a bit 3D-ish, I guess, because the wings pop out more than more than this one. But you know, with the details in this one, I'm very happy with it. Oh, especially the circle. Ooh, the circle. <laughs> um, so after I made this one, you know, I had lots of fun with it. I kind of spent the whole night, like, before I knew it, it was morning. Um, when I was done making, you know, a couple of, a couple more than, um, more of Maki J pins. And here are the two that I made after this one. And I fixed the feathers, which this one on this one looks kind of big. Um, I made it smaller, which looks much better. And yes, I actually killed two birds with one stone. Because uh, while I was waiting for this one, you know, um, it kind of took a while, you know, in the oven. And I thought, you know, why don't I wait for this one? I might as well start working on this one. So I made two at the same time. <laughs> you know, so I, you know, cooking the pieces. And yes, I'm very happy that I made too. Oh, I could use one for a keychain, I could use one for a necklace, and I could use one for a pin, <laughs> which it's supposed to be. Um, and yes, and her tutorial helped me make it more sturdy look, um, sturdy, because she, you know, add more clay in the bag to make it more thick, and so it, it has the less chance of breaking. Oh, thank you very much, Custom Foo. And here's a quarter for a size comparison. And, um, you know, and here are some other of my vintage charms that I made. Uh, I just learned, recently learned how to make vintage charms, and I'm very happy, um, <laughs> happy with it. You know, it, and learning the vintage charms, um, it helped me make these. <laughs> oh, I'm such a Hunger Games fan. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyways... Thank you guys very much for um, watching my video. Thank you very much, Custom Foo, for making the lovely tutorial. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Bye bye now. Whoosh. <laughs>